Joining us now is a member of the GST Council and the Finance Minister of the State of Kerala, Mr. Thomas Isaac. Mr. Isaac, appreciate you joining us here on uh, this special Network 18 broadcast. Uh, you're not going to be in Parliament, Mr. Isaac. Why have you decided not to go? <laughs> One, uh, I do, I th certainly GST is a very important tax reform but not of an order to have a midnight session uh, recalling the days of 1947 and so on. That is a propaganda, partly political propaganda. I don't want to be part uh, of that. Is that the problem, Mr. Isaac? Is that GST. the only problem that you have, that this is, council, as you called it, propaganda, and hence, hence your hesitation to attend the GST uh, session in Parliament tonight? Uh, that's uh, reason number one. Reason number two is, I don't think these are times for any celebration, even if it is for GST. At a time when lynching of people has become a kind of common occurrence uh, because you belong to a different faith, is um, really obscene. I don't, I feel disgusted to join the parliament to celebrate GST or anything for that matter. But Mr. Isaac, don't you think that, you know, you're missing the wood for the tree, sir? Because on one hand, you say that, you well, you support the idea of GST, but, you know, on the other, you're simply opposed to this, this midnight session, this obsession, you know, that a lot of opposition parties seem to be having against the government's desire of having this midnight session. What message will you send to the people of the country? Will people of the country not think that you all are completely opposed to the idea of GST, though in principle you seem to oh. be supporting it? You know, people won't think like that because we are responsible for governing state governments and we are implementing this program here. We have been party to it. In fact, discussion started, do you know when? 19, 2009. Since then, the discussions have been going on. And political parties, including BJP, has taken positions. We know very well. In fact, the entire enterprise of GST was scuttled in 2011 because BJP decided to oppose it. In fact, they stonewalled it for the next five years. Is it about, now they is it want about to have you know, GST. on one hand, you say and that then the country to has nothing to celebrate because night. of these lynchings which are going on. On the other hand, you say that this is, this is just about the government trying to, you know, to score some political points, trying to portray itself in, in, uh, in, 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 a, in a proper color. Is your reluctance at the end of the day only and only with Prime Minister Modi, with the BJP? Is that the reason why you boycotted this? Look, we have been cooperating with the center and other states to formulate the GST, roll it out. But now, what is this drama of midnight? Tell me. I don't think GST is as fundamental a change as that introduction of VAT was, really. In fact, GST, I consider an extension of VAT across the state boundary. Uh, therefore, or you in the indirect tax code for that matter. So there have been nodal points in the evolution of Indian tax system. This is yet another important one. But to make a drama of it to this scale is certainly a political propaganda. Mr. Isaac, a party Mr. Isaac as you, as you said that you, don't want, you didn't want to attend this session yes. because you believe that this is propaganda and drama. But let me now talk to you about substantive issues, sir. Uh, one issue that requires clarity uh, from the GST Council is how responsive will the GST Council be? The view from the ground is that, look, we expect the GST Council to be flexible, we expect the GST Council to be responsive, and it's going to be crucial and critical for the GST Council to act hastily, given the fact that you will get feedback in real time from the ground on the implementation itself. So explain to us, sir, how responsive will the GST Council be uh, in the implementation phase of the GST? Well, members of GST Council are finance ministers of various states and the union government. And uh, they are elected people, they are responsive to the people, and therefore a council consists of such a diversity of political opinion drawn from all states in India, um, and of very different experiences and so on, cannot but be responsive to what is the 
reaction from below. 